No, I do not. As a matter of fact, as I've uh, engaged in this race for Congress, I've s been surprised to discover several laws uh, that I didn't know about that they don't comply with. For example, did you know your congressman's office is about the only place in government that I know of that is not subject to the open records law? So as a state legislator, as the speaker, any citizen could request copies of all my emails on a certain subject, who I met with, what my correspondence was. You cannot do that with the United States congressman. It's an example of a law that they should be held to the same standards as everybody else. Insider trading laws. Um, they've been exempt from insider trading laws. There's a great book um, that I'm reading right now uh, called Throw Them All Out by, by a professor from the Hoover Institute that chronicles uh, the millions of dollars made by members of Congress off of legislation that they have been pushing. So they've been betting on the upside or downside of stocks based upon the legislation. His name is Peter Schweitzer. If you want a book that will make your blood boil, I recommend that you read it. Um, that's, that's another example. So they should, they should comply with the same laws. Um, this way, when you do this, you can eliminate the Imperial Congress and, and, and move it back uh, to a representative body. And on that note, I believe they should also um, share the same type of retirement system that most of us have. I would eliminate the defined benefit pension program for Congress. They can participate in a 401k or an IRA program just like the rest of us, but they should not have a guaranteed source of income for the rest of their life for a period of what's supposed to be public service. Um, I think if they did not have that defined benefit system, perhaps if they were in the same market as we are, um, maybe they'd make better economic decisions because they'd have a personal incentive to do so. Um, I withdrew myself from the state pension system voluntarily. I've committed not to accept a congressional pension either and to work to transition the congressional pension from a defined benefit, which is another way to say that is a guaranteed lifetime income. That's what a defined benefit is. Regardless of what the economy does, you get a guaranteed amount for the rest of your life. I'd work to eliminate that and replace it with a defined contribution system, just like the rest of us have. 